that's because it was melted this was probably uh ah oh, there's a coin right there so today we're going to have kind of a short adventure i am along a river that has a dump uh, an old dump along it and i found a few things here in the past i thought what we would do is go along and see if we can find any good stuff now i have found some good stuff here coins and buttons and things like that the river is up a little bit so we can't get down into the really good areas but there are some areas right here where we can walk along and just kind of see what we can see now what i'm going to do eventually here i'm going to turn you off i'm just going to start looking for stuff but you can see it's all kinds of trash this is a big trash dump right here oh, here's something not sure what that is and uh, what we need to do is just look really close and see if there's any coins laying in there and stuff like that and what i'll do is i'll go ahead and get you guys back out once i start seeing some stuff we'll play can you see it can you <laughs> all right you can see there's a lot of uh those are big spikes and just a lot of like uh, soda bottles and milk glass and i suspect we'll find at least one or two goodies out of here here's a uh that's a grommet from like a tent or a poncho or something like that or tarp and we're going to be looking for stuff like this an old spark plug i wish i could just leave you on the whole time but you guys would get so bored um i'm not gonna do that i'll just wait until we start finding some stuff part of a horseshoe half a horseshoe there huh. oh lucky there's an old iron that's a flat iron that's something you would iron clothes with put that on a wood stove to heat it up and typically a person would have a two or three of those there's another little doodad that's probably another piece of a horseshoe I saw something here and that's probably a valve stem to like a automobile tire <laughs> all kinds of stuff in here um oh there's something roundish what's that that is probably a compression compress compression fitting for like a spark plug i think you put these on spark plugs and you screw them in another little piece of brass wow kinds of stuff here you couldn't metal attack this because there's just so much junk that your machine you know would constantly be going off with pieces of brass like this and you could probably set it just so you'd hear silver but still you'd it would be a nightmare all right give me a few minutes and uh see if i can get into a little better area and we'll start looking again so this is a neat little area right here where the uh flood waters kind of came up over this uh tree and these rocks right here kind of scooped it out just a little bit i'm hoping they might have uncovered a few things since we were last here. I don't know what that is. Man, there's a lot of, uh, I don't think this dump is too old. I mean, there are some cork tops in here. You can see how that bottle's flattened? That's because it was melted. This was probably, ah, uh, oh, there's a coin right there. I was talking to you about this thing. Well, this was in a fire. So either somebody's burn barrel at the house where they were burning the trash, or they might've just set the whole bank of the river on fire here to burn it occasionally. Uh, that's what they would used to do in the, the old dumps all right what do you think uh, i'm gonna take a picture of that first a little buckle here i'll get you right back out all right so let's go ahead and i got a picture of it let's see what it is i bet it's going to be a little dime the key is is it silver yeah that's going to be a nice silver dime right there see the silver shining through just a little bit i'm not going to rub it too much but yep nice mercury dime <laughs> most awesome my friend that's just eyeballing it too I'll go ahead and keep looking around and uh, when I see something else of interest, I'll get you back out. I just a lid off of something, saw a little bit of roundness there. Uh, there's got to be some more coins in here. Oh, this is cute, a cute little bottle up here. It's melted though, which is kind of neat. That's a little blue Alka Seltzer bottle and it's melted. It's kind of cute actually. I didn't see this thing right here. Is another one of those compression things. See, that's all been pushed up this year, probably from the floods. That's all flood stuff there. So maybe on the other side, it dug it out a little bit, which would be nice. I'm not seeing anything too amazing, but I just want to show you some of the other stuff I'm seeing. There's a lot of it. I, I saw this little doodad, and I thought it was a coin at first, but I think it's just something brassy. Look at all this stuff down in here. There's all kinds of little pieces of brass in here. That's threads on them, I'm not sure. That looks like part of a knife or something. Could be. 
Eh, I'm not sure about a knife, but it's something like this. Brassy. I saw some other things out in here. A lot of little screws. Little brass screws. Probably pieces of cars. I'm not really even sure. I'm mostly just looking for coins to be. Oh, there's a rifle. Well, look at all this stuff. Man, I recognize that. I'm not sure what it is, but I've seen them before. Some type of key, I guess. Um, you know, from uh, for mechanical stuff, not a key for like a lock. That's a rifle casing. It's fired rifle casing there. Let's look for coins and rings. <laughs> Didn't really get a big flood this year, so not a lot of stuff uh, got washed out. So I'm not expecting a huge haul, but you never know. On this weird thing I wanted to show you, I'm, I'm not sure what it is. It's like clad in, almost looks like melted um, copper or brass. I'm not sure. Kind of like a hole in the end, so I, I don't know what that, I thought it was like some weird knife handle when I first found it, but not so sure now. I did want to show you this though. This is kind of cool. This is a little, well, I thought, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's going to be like a porcelain doll with fat legs. <laughs> Maybe it's a rabbit, I don't know. <laughs> I suspect it's some type of a little uh, porcelain doll. Yeah, it's probably a rabbit. Easter bunny. I don't know how many eyes, so maybe not. Huh, kind of weird. I guess some type of hinge, maybe. A corner bracket or something for a uh, box or something small block here's another little area here that's kind of washed out i thought we kind of would look at it together i wouldn't suspect it'd be something of interest in here a little curly q <laughs> i'm not sure what that is that would have been a nice cork top bottle there green but it's broken so uh you probably still there's a piece of brass man that's a heavy piece of brass right there probably worth 50 cents can maybe a lot of broken bottles, a lot of glass down here, so you gotta be careful. I'm not gonna be digging or anything today. A little piece of brass. I think a lot of these are car parts, actually. Something weird. That's lead. Got little, like, cogs on them. I'm not sure what that's all about. Little teeth, like a gear of some sort. Oh, there's a stopper. This, I already looked over this and missed all that. That's a stopper out of a bottle. Kind of cute. It's got a little bit broken there though, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it. All right, I'm gonna keep moving along here. A lot of these little ceramic things down here, and these are pieces like mason jar lids, you know, canning lids uh, for canning jars. This is all like uh, coal, coal waste right here, slag. And probably people, you know, furnaces and things like that. Melted big blobs. <laughs> But nothing, I don't see anything poking out of the dirt that is too interesting. This is bone. It's some somebody's supper, I'm sure. Oh, this doorknob. That's kind of neat. That's an old uh, porcelain doorknob. See, it's still got the iron part on the back. It's all rusted there. It's grabbed a bunch of the other little iron things that are iron things that are in here. I'd like to find a Civil War belt buckle. Maybe possible. And this is stuff people threw, you know, threw out probably back in the 50s, so they could have thrown out Civil War stuff for sure back then. Well, I hate to do this, but I'm going to call it quits here. Uh, there's just not enough area that for us to search. I mean, when the river goes down, we can get up there and look around, but that's not today. And uh, just it's just too silted in. It's just a little tiny band right there. So we'll have to maybe come back another day or find a better spot. The reason I'm not metal detecting in the, in the water yet is because, not particularly here, but other places, is the uh, water's still up high pretty much everywhere, and uh, it's cold. <laughs> and chick doesn't like the cold. All right, hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Be a little bit better. Exactly what she's saving, where it is, or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying, 
or if you're living or somewhere in between. All right, let's go.